It's all about umami. Umami. It's a way to make foods more savory. Your steaks, your chops, your soups, without adding any more salt at all. So you can go crazy on the umami and keep the salt low. Your own umami bomb dust. You can put it on anything. You can put it on everything. Everybody watching this probably has heard of MSG. You probably have your own opinion on it. The reality is whether you like it or not, it's a totally naturally occurring substance that's in a ton of foods. Here's a whole pile of those foods right here. So all those little uh, crystals actually you see and Parmesan, those are actually MSG crystals. Monosodium glutamate, that's what that is. This is the base foundation for our umami bomb powder. Like most fungi and almost all mushrooms, like these over here, these are morels and shiitakes, loaded with umami. But they're super expensive. And usually you can't even find morels in most stores. Cremini mushrooms, portobellas, button mushrooms, they're gonna have lots of uh, naturally occurring amino acids in them. And it's actually not MSG, monosodium glutamate, it's uh, glutamic acid. So it's just without the salt, and that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna slice them up. That's a lesson in maximum surface area. I'm gonna roast these things, but really what I'm doing is getting rid of water and uh, developing glutamic acid. So we wanna develop that flavor first, then I really gotta dehydrate it into a dust. And that's the name of the game here. That's the whole thing. Let's get to it. First things first, get a bunch of mushrooms, put them in a bowl, take them out of bowl, put them on board, get a knife. Here's the thing, you don't have to be precise at all. Just cut them. And the whole name of the game here is more surface area. Huh. What's up? Chives. I'm just gonna cut them down a little bit. Shallot. Chilies and garlic. One star, two star, three star. Where do you want to go? Let's stick with one for now. If you are gonna add any liquid you want, you definitely wanna add it before roasting, but. And again, optional, it's gonna add more savoriness, lots of other depth to the aroma. You know, if you just throw this into the dehydrator, it's gonna taste like kind of chalky and raw. That's why you wanna roast it, so you have like a more creamy, uh, savory flavor first. Oh, dang! Look how cute! So you can see this is raw, chopped up, ready to go in the oven and roast. This is roasted. We definitely have some guidance on chefs.com with you know some times and temperatures. And then this is dehydrated. This guy goes in. A little super convert. I'll set a timer for 20 minutes just to check on them. You can under roast it and not develop that much flavor, and you can over roast it and burn it, and it's gonna be bitter. That's an easy one to watch and keep an eye out for, just check it. And dark, dark brown's good. Black, not so much to me, bitter. Okay. Roasty. This is what we're going for. It's not too much, not too little, just like dark edges, brown edges, caramelized goodies, cooked. And then, da 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 right back in the oven. Because guess what? This oven's also a dehydrator. Do, 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 do. Dehydrate. These are gonna take forever to dehydrate. Forever as in, you know, four, five, six hours, maybe overnight, whatever. But this is what you end up with. You can even hear them. You can hear how dehydrated they are. Sounds good, huh? But right now they're nice and crispy, and we're gonna turn them into a powder. We've got cremini mushrooms sliced up. We've got shallots sliced up, chive, garlic, and then a little bit of Worcestershire. This mix right now is loaded with glutamic acid, right? Super umami. Um, but if you 
blitz this up and then put it in your tongue, you're not going to be like, wow, that's crazy savory. Because you still need a little bit of salt to bring that out. Um, so don't expect to make this powder and put it on your tongue and have it be like, holy smokes, it's savory. If you want to, you can blitz in some salt and then it will instantly be like crazy umami. Um, but that puts a speed limit on how much you can add to a broth or a pasta or to eggs or to steak or a pork chop. First things first, let's grind it up. Oh yeah, we're good, let's scratch. Here we go. Um, here, I'll just show you like by volume where we're at now. That's our super umami dust. Don't worry, you can get the exact recipe on chefsips.com. Mm. Chock full of amino acids and peptides, nucleotides. Boop, 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 boop. Here we go. This is the one I just made. This is one Matthew made. Maybe he had darker mushrooms. Maybe he roasted a little bit more. I don't know. God, it smells good though. <clears throat> Just made your own super insane umami powder, you can put it on anything. Steaks, pork chops, salmon, salad, croutons, bread, roast chicken, chicken wings, french fries, toast and butter. Sounds crazy, but it's gonna be crazy good. Have fun with it. See you on the next one.